Now that you have the basic understanding of what Absolutator Titanium is, let's actually start uh, downloading the studio, the Titanium Studio, and the SDK needed to create Android and iPhone app. Now if you Google Absolutator Titanium, you'll be basically taken to this page which is www.absolutator.com slash platform slash titanium platform. And uh, what you want to do is click download titanium or uh, create an account basically if even if you press download titanium or uh, somewhere around here which says sign in or create account you have to basically create an account first now after you've created an account with email validation and all that stuff the usual stuff and signed in you'll be taken to over here which i've actually signed in using my normal account and what you want to do is go to get started with titanium and uh, download titanium studio so if you're a mac user uh, click here if you're a windows user click here it's all the normal stuff and once you click you'll be uh, you'll wait a couple minutes for download to start and then you'll be installing titanium studio now i won't uh, take you through all the installation process of titanium studio because if you're on windows all you have to do is like click yes okay and install a couple times and if you're on a mac all you have to do is drag that uh, titanium studio icon into your applications folder so once you've done your installation you'll be take you've got this uh, titanium studio link somewhere in your desktop so if you click it uh, this pops up which does all the initialization and if you're first time using it uh, you'll be uh, asked to in uh, insert your username or your login details and your password I put mine as auto login which is why it skipped that part and opened my studio up directly now every time you open up unless you disable it you'll start up with a dashboard now I'll talk about the IDE itself in my next video where we start looking at all these buttons and stuff but uh, if you're familiar with Java or have played around with Uptana Studio uh, you might think it's similar this is because Absolator the company actually uh, acquired uh, Aptana and, uh, and created Titanium Studio based on Aptana Studio okay so first you will be taken to the dashboard page now what you want to do is you can actually uh, click on these video links and try to learn from this too if you want to but before that let's go to get started go down a bit and go to configure native SDKs what you have to do is before you can start creating your apps you need to uh, download the SDK for Android and if you're a Mac user iOS so let's click Android now I don't know if it's just for me in this uh, version but whenever I click Android iOS or even mobile web it just takes me up so if I scroll down again now it says Android configuration details now because i already installed the android sdk it says the android sdk is installed correctly however if you're first time it will say something like install android sdk or something now because mine's installed and uh, it's not updated it says update android sdk and whether you're installing or updating you'll be uh, this window will pop up and it's got all these like SDK tools and uh, Android version APIs and stuff now what you want to do is basically just download all these because that's the easiest as long as you have enough space and because I haven't updated it recently I need to update uh, these stuff uh, 11 packages in total however I'll do that uh, off camera so let's just close it and if you're first time running it just make sure you uh, install all the Android APIs and the tools and maybe the extras I only downloaded Android support library, uh, add mob ads SDK, play services, apk extension library, google play billing library basically you don't really need all these until you're like really creating uh, apps if you're in the process of practicing or learning you don't really need these extras yet 
So, uh, in my current Titanium Studio or Android SDK Manager version, it starts off with Android 1.5 and the earliest version or the newest one is Android 4.2. Now, if you don't have too much space in your uh, computer, you can actually skip the documentation and the sample. And uh, I don't know what that is, but yeah, you can skip the documentation and sample for every version. You can just unclick it every time so that it space about a couple megabytes of space. Okay, now let's just wait for this or we'll just cancel it. There we go. <coughs> now, if you're a Windows user and you've installed Android SDK, uh, if you're finished and installing Android SDK, you're ready to go. However, if you're an, are you a, a Mac user, you want to install iOS as well. Now it says iOS configuration details, iOS SDK is installed correctly. That's because I already installed the iOS SDK. However, if you haven't, you want to go to the App Store and uh, download Xcode. Now Xcode, just go to top charts and go to the free apps and then it will always be in the top 10 I think and all you have to do is just install this Xcode and once you installed it uh, it will either be somewhere here in your launcher just launch it and if you first time uh, setting it up it will tell you to it will just guide you to installing the iPhone SDK which is really simple now it just takes a little bit of time to get it running and uh, once you're done with both of them, you'll say iOS configuration details is installed correctly and you're ready to start coding. Okay, the Xcode is taking longer than I expected, so I'll just stop here because it's not much point showing you this because I've already installed the iPhone SDK. So, oh, the iOS SDK, I think. Yeah. So, in my next video, we will be looking at uh, all the useful basic uh, icons and stuff and how to get around the titanium studio so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later